What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I've been meaning to get this video out a little while ago, but trust me, it was worth the wait. Now, no matter what your stance is on unidentified flying objects or unidentified aerial phenomenon, you must have been seeing an uptick in these words the past few years. Even since the last couple of months, there just seems to be more and more sightings. And even the news is reporting it. That's kind of unheard of. I mean, you know, a couple years ago, it would just be brushed off as you're a crazy person. But now there's actually more and more reportings coming up. If these are actual vessels, then who is operating them? Are these visitors from another planet or another country? Let me know in the comments below as to who or what you think made this advanced technology. And by the way, if you enjoy this type of content, then hit that subscribe button because we got much more on the way. With that being said, we have three true UFO encounters coming up next. So when you catch yourself looking up at the night sky, just remember, don't look behind you. I just finished watching the interview with Joe Rogan and David Fravor about his UFO sighting. Well, I decided I wanted to share an experience my brother and I had several years ago. I have told all my family and friends, but I've never actually shared it online, other than on my personal Facebook when it happened. My grandpa and two uncles used to work at NASA in various positions. My uncles both denied ever hearing about anything extraterrestrial while working there. Whereas my grandpa wouldn't tell me any specific stories, but he told me how he knew we weren't alone. Anyway, I grew up in Cape Canaveral, Florida, but now I live in Georgia, about 20 minutes south of Atlanta, which is where this took place. So several years ago in the summer, my brother and I rode in his truck to the gas station to get some snacks and cigarettes. After we got our things, we decided to park in a space facing the road so we can smoke before we went home. The reason being, my mom didn't know we smoked at the time. We were sitting there, and I remember distinctly that we were drinking Yoohoo's and eating hot Cheetos. Everything about this experience stayed in my mind, and whenever I visit that gas station or drink a Yoohoo now, I think about it and what we saw. So we were sitting there just talking and I noticed something in the sky and I said, what's that? My brother looked and we saw five lights in the sky in a V formation. They weren't moving, but just sitting there. We do live close to Hartsfield Jackson Airport and we see planes all the time. And I'm telling you, those were not planes. It was in the middle of the daytime and lights were bright and like I said, not even moving. Well, as we were staring at the lights, the two top lights at the top of the V flew in different directions, extremely fast, and then came back and joined the formation. This happened in about a second. After that, the middle two lights did the same thing, flew quickly away and then came back into formation. And next, all the lights scattered in different directions, and this time, they didn't return. They disappeared. We were shocked by what we just saw and drove home quickly to tell our mom. I then posted on Facebook asking anyone if they saw the lights in the sky, and two other people who lived near me said that they did. Some people asked, why I didn't take a picture or video. Well, first of all, when it happened, we were both so enamored by what we were seeing, it didn't occur to me to pull out my phone. It all just happened so fast, maybe in the span of about 45 seconds or so. And we were so focused on what we were seeing, it just didn't cross either of our minds. Second of all, at this time, my brother had an iPhone that he left at home, but I only had a slide phone, so the camera wouldn't have been any good anyway. 
I think about this occurrence all the time. My brother is a no-nonsense type of person. He is a non-believer of everything from ghosts, aliens, Bigfoot, etc. I don't really know how to describe him, but definitely not someone who would make up a UFO story. He might not even tell anyone just to keep himself from looking weird to others. But even he can't explain what we saw and will corroborate the story. I am very open-minded, however. Since this happened, I definitely believe in extraterrestrials and have become interested in other mysteries like cryptozoology and stuff like that. Maybe people might not believe this story and that's fine. My brother and I know what we saw and there is no way anyone could explain it being a plane or even a military craft based on how it stayed put and then zoomed off and back again so quickly. I feel privileged getting to witness something like this because some skeptics may never get the visual proof or experience that they are looking for. Has anyone else had an experience like this? I had an experience with something strange when I was six years old. My mom had just moved us from South Carolina to Northern Canada to a ranch that she would take care of. It was a very big change for me going from suburban life to living in the mountains. The ranch was very old and there was no power or running water. At night, we used propane lights and would sit around the fireplace and read and tell stories. My brother and I shared a bedroom with a bunk bed and I had the top bunk. An hour or so after lights out, I was still up trying to read my Archie comic with a dying flashlight. Then I heard a strange sound, kind of like wind chimes or similar to that anyway. I opened the curtain to the window beside my bed and I see a crystalline glowing object in one of the horse corrals about 200 feet from the house. It's pulsating, a very strange bluish pink light. The shape of it was like an octahedron. It was hovering slowly about no more than a few feet off the ground. It was about 8 to 10 feet tall and maybe half of that in width. There were three or four smaller similar looking objects rotating around it. I tried to wake my brother and he wouldn't wake up. The sound got louder and I remember pulling the covers over my head. The next thing I remember is waking up in the morning and trying to tell my mom and my brother what I saw that night. They said I was dreaming and that I just had an overactive imagination. I still don't think it was a dream to this day because of how vivid it was to me. This encounter is really what started my interest in UFOs. I have never found any other stories with anything similar to this type of craft or entity, whatever the hell it is anyway. Something that always has made this story hard to share with people is the stigma that is attached to UFOs and the paranormal. People just seem generally not interested or they think you are just full of shit. I guess you can't really believe in it until you experience it. I will always wonder what it was that I saw that night on the ranch. As I've mentioned before in a previous post, my family has some land on a remotish mountain just outside of Eureka. I came down here a few times every year and haven't ever really experienced anything too out of the ordinary. But last night was different, to say the least. I didn't know this before, but apparently this area is pretty popular for UFO sightings. I still don't know if that's what this was, but I'm having a really hard time coming up with a logical explanation. We had a good fire going for a few hours, and after everyone else went to bed, it was just my dad, fiance, and I left outside. We were all just shooting the shit and enjoying the weather and cozy by the fire. Around 1am, 
we started talking about constellations. So we had all leaned back and we were just staring up at the sky. My fiance pointed out a light that was noticeably brighter than the stars and it was steadily moving. I immediately figured it was a satellite, but then my dad chimed in with, uh, no, I, I don't think that is. Watch it for a second. My dad and I are hugely into aliens and we both have had a fair number of sightings in the past. I focused closer on the light and saw it wasn't just gliding across in a straight line. It was zigzagging back and forth as it was moving to the east. The three of us were exclaiming about how weird it was when it suddenly veered in an arc towards the southern mountain. I'm thinking to myself, okay, is this really happening right now? And the light just stops. It just hovers above the mountain for at least five minutes. At this point, we're all saying that it's definitely not a satellite with the occasional comment like, holy fuck, this is wild. The light started to shift to the right again until it was behind a tree and we lost sight of it completely. We went back to the normal campfire shenanigans for a couple of minutes and my fiance got up to get some drinks. As soon as he got up, the entire sky lit in an almost painful bright white flash like lightning on steroids. This was a crystal clear night. There wasn't a storm on the radar for miles and miles. We couldn't even see one little wispy cloud. It absolutely couldn't have been lightning. My dad and I were the only ones who saw it though, as most people were asleep and my fiance was inside. There wasn't a single sound when it happened, no boom or rumble but the entire mountain went dead, dead silent for a few minutes afterwards. It was so eerie, it's like time around us paused momentarily. My dad ended up feeling so uncomfortable and anxious after that, he decided to go to bed. My fiance and I decided to stay up for a little while after that, but we didn't see any weirder lights or flashes, but I definitely felt a heavy sense of unease around us for the rest of that night. So what did you all think? Pretty crazy stuff, right? I mean, these encounters, it just sounds so freaky and it's probably really hard to put into words when you see such a phenomenon. I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's just a situation you're put in where logic kind of can't describe it anymore. I don't know. It's just such a unique topic and it's definitely piqued my interest. So we're going to get a lot of more of that on this channel. But if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching this. So if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to do so. I try to post on a weekly basis things on cryptids, paranormal, uh, demonic encounters, UFOs, aliens now. I don't know. It's wild. It's a wild card. That's what we do around here. But thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe out there. And until next time, I'll see you back here on the channel.